Welcome to Dare to Dream. This is Debbie Dashinger, super glad to be with you. And we're gonna be having a conversation today with someone who I can tell you fascinates me. Uh, when I first got in touch with him, and his name is Sky Cubby, the first thing he did very generously was send me some of his products mm -hmm. to try. And I'll say more about that later. But I will say that I had a really surprising experience with his products. And they're delicious too, by the way, <laughs> which doesn't hurt. Healthy, delicious, and like no inflammation, no issues. And some of those products, I typically, if they're out the usual world and not healthy, I do have issues with. So I'm excited to talk to him and to get you more on the groove about his thoughts, his expertise on superfoods on what we can do to cleanse ourselves, our pineal gland, what's going on in our bodies today, and what we need to do, because this is what he does for a living. This is his passion. So I'll read you a little bit of who Sky is out in the world. And before I get there, I just wanna say thank you, as always, to my sponsors. Those sponsors are people who actually do great things in the world. So. I'm fully aligned with the business they're in. And it's important to me that the people who sponsor the show that I'm also offering you something that is amazing and great for your business, your being, and the planet. Dane here and Access Consciousness for doing amazing energy work on the planet for the people. You can go to drdanehere.com or accessconsciousness.com. What I love about their work is, this is not talk therapy, folks. This is when you're ready to shift stuff, it's now, 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 because that's energy work. And I also want to thank my other sponsor, which is the software platform called Thinkific. They do tremendous things for people who run a small business, who are entrepreneurs, who are authors, speakers, healers, and they offer us an online platform to put our courses, our products, our programs. It is spectacular, super easy drag and drop, and it makes it look beautiful like your own website. I'm so impressed with them and what they offer, and they're easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if you are interested in making passive income very easily online, you can go to thnk.cc slash Deb. They are offering Dare to Dream listeners and viewers a special price. So super worth checking out thnk.cc slash Deb. Thank you to them. I'm a visibility expert, folks. This is what I do out in the world. I help you to create a fierce and unique presence by really owning who you are, coaching you to write your book, taking your book to a guaranteed international bestseller, and getting booked on media interviews. I do everything that I coach and teach. So I'm on radio, I write books, I've got bestsellers, I speak on stage, and I've been interviewed on over 900 media outlets, also as an expert. So I help you to get your business out of the shadows and stop being the best kept secret. If you're interested in learning more about this or having a visibility strategy session, just email me at dare to dream radio at gmail.com. It's so funny. I don't know about you guys, but I probably have five or six emails. So I'm trying to tell you this and, and calculate where am I sending you? So dare to dream radio, easy, dare to dream radio at gmail.com. I'll see you there. So Sky Cubby is here. He's an entrepreneur, speaker, author, and founder of Medicinal Foods. Having healed himself of chronic illness, Sky shares the secrets he learned on his quest for health through his Medicinal Foods Products podcast and his transformational health and wellness protocol. And we'll give his websites out in a little bit. I want to get him on the show. So Sky, welcome to Dare to Dream. It's so great to have you. Uh, thanks for having me, Debbie. It's great to be here. And give us a little background where you are speaking from, uh, what part of the world and what kind of environment you're in. I am out here on the big island of Hawaii and I'm looking out at um, hundreds of durian, longan, lychee, mangosteen, all these fruit trees I planted um, when I 
homesteaded on the land here. I've, I've got a jacket on because we got kind of a cold front coming in from uh, up north. So it does get cold up here. Mauna Kea is the biggest mountain in the world and it just brings that cold air down sometimes. But uh, it is winter at the time we're recording this and uh, doing this. And so, yeah, I, my parents had a summer camp for kids called Earth Camp One, and I was born there. And all the campers held hands around the A-frame and sang happy birthday and blue sky sailing high and kind of welcomed me down to this plane. And um, they did some pioneering things, some cutting edge health and wellness stuff like tofu and granola back in the day. They made their own, you know, uh, Tim Leary, Ram Das, people you know, knew of this camp. Uh, uh, people like Joan Baez's kids went there, John Lovitz and stuff. So I grew up in this kind of utopian society or, or I, I, more like um, just this bubble of uh, blissful uh, awareness. And um, they were doing yoga and climbing Mount Shasta and organic gardening, backpacking and all that. So I think from that kind of gave me the, um, the, the mindset to come out here to Hawaii and pioneer uh, on, on my land here. And uh, as soon as I came to Hawaii, I, I got a lot healthier, by the way, you know, uh, a lot of my inflammation from my asthma went away. But um, originally, I just, I was sick. I was having an a really hard time with the mucus, the inflammation, asthma, all that, all the stuff that came with it, lung infections. You know, I'd get sick for two months when a friend would get sick for, you know, a And you a also week. had candida, is that right? Candidiasis at the same that, time? That's just with, goes with the territory of being chronic, I think with anything, you know, and just having- a, And that's, for people who don't know what that is, that's brutal, by the way. I've had it. I have had it and I've had to go on those Oh, Lord Jesus, those food programs, which is like, you can eat that much, right? And you like drink that much. Bread. I want bread. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat any coffee, sugar. wine. You know, that Starches. was coffee. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's really fermented. a good protocol. So, I, I mean, I just, uh, I think really it's all started. We were in the Southern Cascades, a moist, cold environment, and... I went back east to visit my mom's family. When I came back, I I got double pneumonia and they probably shot me so full of antibiotics and knocking out that first line of defense that I think that set me back and I was just kind of weakened throughout the whole thing. The candida, the leaky gut, it starts going in the bloodstream and I um, mean, everyone's got candida, but to have an overgrowth of it where you just can't think straight and it's, it's not fun. So I pulled the yoga of herbs off my dad's bookshelf and I just, I knew intuitively that these plants had this, this wisdom that they could impart on us and help heal us. And so I started boiling up ginger to like, try to, try to, um, dry up my, my mucus in my lungs. And that kind of start me, started me on the path of working with herbs. Incredible. And it's kind of interesting to me to be raised by such aware, conscious parents who actually take it out and build a whole community in a camp. And isn't it interesting that you were so sick? <laughs> like, how does that happen? Uh, you know, it, it, you never know. But um, I did ask this kahuna out here in Hawaii. I said, why did I, why did I suffer? Because I know what it's like to just, I mean, I was an athlete. I was ski racing. I was at the end of a run. Sometimes I wouldn't be able to breathe. And I'd be like, oh, that's it. I'm had a good life. I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm checking out now. But I asked him, uh, you know, why, why did I suffer so much? And he said, he, he was like, oh, he just kind of went up and was like, oh, yeah, I mean, that's simple. It's just your, your mom's side of the family and your dad's side of the family were very warring, like, tribes. Like, it's an ancient tribal warring connection that went way back. And he's like, you came down here to heal that. Mm. He's like, oh, you just said, I'll take that on. <laughs> and um, that, you know, that resonated with me. And um I definitely got me on my path of healing for myself so I can, you know, share what I learned with others. But um, yeah, you totally made your mess, your message, you know, your, your wound, your original wound into the gift you give to all of us. So here you are doing this research, healing yourself, the mucus is going away, the inflammation, the, the illnesses. And from there, 
I mean, you must have had an enormous commitment and research going on to have created this entire brand. I mean, it was all just definitely self experimenting and, you know, healing is just on so many levels that it's really about just coming into balance. So I'm a Vata body type, you know, skinnier than most. And, um, being in the cold weather environment, growing up ski racing, being in the mountains, it just like, that's probably why I have a jacket on right now in Hawaii, you know, because uh, uh, I tend to get cold. Um, I do a lot of free diving and stuff and I dive with a wetsuit. And so I mean, you got you to gotta know yourself and know what can keep you healthy. And it's just everything coming together has to come together for, for healing to occur. And, and what I did with my product line is I created products that make you feel good. Because if you don't feel good in your body, you can't get to those levels where you can have spontaneous healing, where you can really um, ask for forgiveness from your ancestors, you know, forgive yourself, the real healing that needs to happen. You can't, if you're feeling miserable, you can't, you can't meditate. I tried meditating my way out of, uh, you know, sickness. It wasn't working. So I created things like our cacao elixir where, you know, you've got uh, the shaman's blend is in there. It has yeah, Tell me about that. What is the shaman's blend? It, What's in it, that? It's this blend. I guess I kind of channeled it, it of superfoods that uh, traditionally cacao shamans would go village to village and mix in different medicines and herbs to eat, share. And uh, this has maca, mucuna, ashwagandha, chlorella, spirulina, hemp protein to kind of ground it out because you get this this boost from it you get this neurotransmitter activation uh, mucuna is 15 percent l-dopa so it creates this dopamine response it's also along the cascade to melatonin serotonin all these neurotransmitters start firing up to a thousand fold increase and so people get this mood enhancing effect some people um have said they've even gotten off of their antidepressants. You know, we're not making any medical claims, but I mean, that's huge. If people can can lift their mood and feel better, I put the same blend in this chocolate, which I think I sent you uh, uh, one of them, but uh, the Lover's Bar, I mean, the, the, the chocolate for my line was just kind of the hook to get people feeling good. Like, wow, this has spirulina in it. This has superfoods and um, to get, feeling better in their body so they can start healing at a deeper level. Yeah, I want to ask you about some of the products. So two of the three things that you sent me was absolutely that beautiful, and I love the title, Lover's Chocolate Bar. And the other one were macadamia nuts covered with chocolate. <laughs> so I have a terrible time with chocolate. Much as I love to eat it now and then, I suffer. And it's not anything very overt that anybody would see or know, but I'm so sensitive. I know my body immediately goes into distress and inflammation. I know it's rejecting what I just put inside of it. So I've actually weaned myself completely off for many years. Easier, right? So I didn't know what was going to happen. And I was fully expecting like whether I've eaten dark chocolate, everything out there that they say is healthy, still I have a reaction. And I cannot tell you how shocked I was to eat your bar and those delicious, and by the way, they were delicious. I don't know how you do that, how they taste so good, how they feel so good. And I didn't even feel like, oh, guilty eating them. Like somehow I felt like I was ingesting something very positive in my body. So talk about that. Well, I appreciate it. You know, if you give your body the highest and best stuff, it usually knows what to do with it. Oftentimes people are, have, you don't realize that a lot of chocolate has a lot of heavy metals. It comes from places that are, the, the, the environment is just, um, it's compromised. And so, you, you know, I went to Ecuador, I found the best source I could find. I looked at all the readings, there's chocolate I'll eat. I just get a headache right away. Um, cacao has the, it's, it's the, the most abundant in the three things that Americans are deficient in chromium, magnesium, and, um, zinc. And so 
you know, to be able to uh, have something that has over 6,000 chemical constituents, you know, that has the ability to dilate the blood vessels up to 30% with the nitric oxide in the cacao, with the theobromine that literally means food of the gods, and the anandamide, which is the bliss chemical, and the uh, PEA, the phenylethylamine, which is the love chemical. I mean, chocolate has the most amazing stuff in it, but it's been totally um, mute, mutated with the CN51 hybridized cacao. And uh, so we use ancient grandma cacao trees that have been growing interplanted with yucca, platanos, and uh, different, you know, the pigs run around in there. And it's just like the old style way of growing um, cacao. So that's one way how it's grown. We grow cacao here and, you know, I can, you can eat a cacao bean fresh, just the bean, no sugar. And you, you experience this, uh, like, oh, that is good. Like what, there's something in there and it's all this stuff. But then when you put in all the sugar and all the chemicals, all the pesticides, you know, oftentimes people are chasing the sugar with chocolate. So, you know, they don't, have the right kind of chocolate they're eating, but uh, there's just a lot of junk out there. So, you know, the, the macadamia nuts also are from Hawaii. They're low temperature dried and then uh, cracked. And so they're the biggest, fattest, crunchiest nuts. So I know those are, <laughs> I always thought I want chocolate uh, covered macadamia nuts, but you get the milk chocolate kind and, you know, you have a stomach ache after. Uh, but macadamia nuts in themselves have the uh, highest amount of the one-to-one -one ratio of omega-3s and 6s that our ancestors ate this diet that was had this one-to-one -one ratio rather than uh, to omega-3s and 6s. These days we've gotten up to, you know, a very high disproportionate like, you know, one to um, – nine or something like that of, of omega threes and sixes. So mac macadamia nuts in themselves are medicinal. They have what they make vitamin B17 laetrile out of, which is totally anti-cancer. So I try to put, you know, there's much medicinal stuff in the foods, but then um, we take the cacao elixir. Uh, we make a, uh, the, the, we make a pudding or a one scoop, a sweetener of their choice. You have an instant chocolate superfood smoothie. And we put chia seeds in there because people use that as like a natural colon cleanser. So it pulls out all the undigested material from the body. You know, everyone's carrying around an extra three or four pounds of undigested material. So just by pulling that out can make you feel lighter, feel healthier, feel ready for deeper cleansing, maybe colon hydrotherapy, or maybe just an enema. But those things can take add years to your life. They can be life changers. So that in itself is healing and it, it opens it up to some of the more healing aspects of our, of the product line. And the coffee substitute that you have, I love my coffee. So I kept my bulletproof coffee in the morning. However, I'm using your coffee substitute in my shake every day, which is full of tons of really good things but super bumped up by putting a good scoop of your coffee alternative in there what the do you coffee think break that? people are putting that actually in their coffee because oh. it adds all the minerals and all the it's maca uh, reishi and chaga mixed with these um, gluten-free extracts of chicory dandelion barley and rye so uh, people, a lot of people are getting off of coffee. You know, coffee works for some people. It's, it's great. But uh, for me, I just feel terrible after I drink coffee. So it doesn't matter what kind of coffee. I get, it tweaks me out. You know, um, again, the, the Vata body type, like mine, you got to know thyself. And for me, stimulants, they, you know, I'll have a little bit of green tea, but coffee doesn't work for me. And this coffee break is just an alternative that's non-acidic, non-addictive, and, um, <clears throat> you know, people, people are appreciating it as, a, as something different. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I'm going to stay connected to the website because I'd like to order more going forward. And that, for people who are listening, watching, it's medicinalfoods.com? Medicinal-foods.com. <clears throat> There's a dash in there. Okay. And just cursory before we go to the next subject, are there any other products there that we should know about? 
Well, there is the living greens, which I think I have some of it here. It's I love that we're doing show and tell. I think this is great. Okay, so this is the living green. It's got 10 veggies, four uh, grasses. It's fermented, so it's pre-broken down already. And, you know, that's kind of what a cow does with all their stomachs and stuff. So it just makes sense. It's fermented, so it's high in vitamin K, which I have a cavity healing protocol you can go to on the site. And one of the things actually in cacao, to go back to that, um, it, it's high in... Um, and the theobromine actually expands the tiny appetite crystals in your teeth to protect it four times more than fluoride. Uh, so um, this has the, the vitamin K, anything fermented has the vitamin K, one which Weston Price found um, really helps heal cavities. So I was done with the drilling and filling and billing. <laughs> created this cavity healing protocol. But the living greens, you just take one scoop, mix it up, and it's good to go. I put a little lemon in, in your water and uh, my daughter just eats it out of the bag. It tastes, it's a green drink that like actually tastes really good. So that's another one. And, uh, you know, I've got, uh, the, I don't know if I sent you the chocolate covered mulberries. No, uh, not at all. The, the chocolate covered um, sprouted salted almonds. Um, so oh, it's hard enough so to get the, good. Uh, uh, almonds that are organic these days, but sprouted is, is pretty cool. And then I think the products that are most dear to my heart is the medicinal mushrooms. We have a, a cordyceps that's uh, it, it, and reishi and, and chaga, but the cordyceps, it's a lung and adrenal tonic. So it it really helped me with my asthma. I mean, I wish I had it back in the day. It's, it's, so, uh, it's so healing for the lungs that I went from, you know, part of my illness to wellness story is that I could barely dive down, you know, five feet. And now I free dive, go down, you know, a hundred, over a hundred feet. And I spearfish and, um, you know, it, it's, it's like my, your greatest uh, challenge becomes your greatest strength. And that's definitely it because, uh, um, I never thought I could, you know, free dive a hundred feet on, on one breath. And so the cordyceps is just so oxygenating. It really helps. I can tell my breath hold is longer, um, you know, from, from working with that as well as the immune boosting response from reishi and chaga as the highest antioxidant, uh, you know, of, of any food right up there with uh, cacao. So, uh, the mushrooms, and then we've got these tonic herbs, uh, the spirit tonic is um, I made it for meditation for myself, just to calm the mind at the end of the day, just to get all the thoughts out of the head. And uh, it turns out people are using it for sleep. Oh, and, uh, they're just They're just like, you know, uh, buying cases so they can get a restful sleep. And then there's a love tonic for women that is pure Chinese herbs. It's just no filler. It's just pure Chinese herbs for women. You put it in your tea or smoothie. It, it keeps things juicy. It builds all the feminine fluids and a woman can't have too much yin. So it's, it's all yin herbs, all uh, blood building and, uh, you know, good herbs for women. And then there's a chi tonic for everyone for, for energy. So that's pretty much the, the full product line medicinal slash foods.com dash, food. dash food right i'm very curious listening to you and where you started sky and where you are today and you're i know you're just fully aligned with this i know you're going to be at the conscious life expo i know you're going to be talking about this in los angeles coming up and you do retreats and workshops and all sorts of stuff you've got this entire brand going what does a day in the life of Sky Cubby, eating look like. What do you ingest or drink throughout an average day? <laughs> well, I wake up, I stretch, do some yoga, and um, I'll have I'll have the coffee break. Honestly, I, it's just all I want to drink in, in the morning and at night because I made it caffeine free, so you can drink it at night. But I might sometimes I mix in a little green tea, then I put in the coffee break. I add in extra mushrooms, uh, some kind of creamer. We have the Krishnas right down the road. So we've got the raw milk, which is amazing. And, uh, you know, that's that, that I ride that train for, you know, maybe um, 10, 11 o'clock or something like that. Uh, it just depends when I get hungry. When I get hungry, 
Um, I'll eat some kind of uh, something to kind of ground me out for the day, maybe a salad and some fish. Um, sometimes, you know, it's some chard and eggs, you know, something kind of can power me through, but I like to, uh, sometimes that I'll just have that meal and then, you know, something uh, later on at uh, dinner time. But in between meals, it, the, the smoothies are great because I can do a cacao elixir and that, uh, you know, usually the cacao satiates the appetite. So you, because I put the hemp protein and all these herbs in there, people can use them as a meal replacement too. Um, but some mornings I'll start out because I live on a tropical fruit tree farm. I'll start off with fruit. And I always, I learned to, I could never have fruit, right? Because candida, you know, it feeds the can don't feed the monsters. But um, having fruit first, away from the oils, you know, that's the key. You don't, people come to me and they're like, I've got acne. Why do I have acne? I said, do you do smoothies? And they say, yeah, I do smoothies. Why well, I should be healthy. Why do I have acne? I said, do you use coconut oil and fruit in your smoothies? And they're like, yeah. So the oil goes around the cell and prevents the sugar from entering it. You don't want the oil there. You want the sugar to go right into the cell, right? So the cell can burn it up, use its energy and be done. So what about um, so I, I concur, and I've done that before with just fruit in the morning and a lot of time in between before I eat again some kind of lunch. My thing is I love coffee. So I guess that's, is, does that interfere? Having no, I mean, you, you know, you, you got to look at like you can go ketogenic, all right, with, right. with fats, with your drink, with your coffee, you know, but the point is you aren't incorporating, as long as you're not incorporating uh, high calorie kind of foods like starches and stuff like that, you can ride that train as, as long as you can into the day. And, um, you know, so having those kind of uh, cacao elixirs and, you know, coffee break and those kind of uh, uh, things, you know, until you're ready to eat something, um, uh, that's that's more solid. You can uh, you can still be kind of fasting through that time. Okay, and so because you were talking about fat in particular, a bulletproof coffee sounds like it is not the right thing. Meaning grass fed butter with the coffee, or MCT or coconut oil with the coffee. No, 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 no. it's it, it's totally right. Whatever you feel is good for your body that's really ultimately what's right right but no what i was saying as far as going ketogenic like you can keep doing the fats up until you start taking in um starches and stuff like that as far as um having having that uh like the coffee with the grass-fed butter or the mct oil i mean i think that's fine i think you're still um, kind of in that keto zone, they, they call it. Um, I think you're all good with that. Yeah, cool. I was actually thinking about what you were saying about fruit. That was my question. I was curious if oh. one was to just do fruit in the morning, then what happens to the coffee component? I, I mean, I think the coffee is, is fine as, as, as well if that works for you, you know, because everybody's different. But um, sometimes I just, you know, uh, if uh, Montak Chia said, uh, eat fruit for a month, if you're imbalanced, just eat fruit for a month. The problem is when people start eating fruit and combining it, uh, oh, yeah, with the oil, I, I, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think coffee would be fine. But if you're eating fruit, um, you want to keep the oils separate. You just, you know, you, you don't, I mean, to a certain extent, look, I, I, don't like getting dogmatic about any of this stuff because um, we're ultimately, it's in, in your mind, if you're imbalanced in your mind and you're, you're eating all the best foods, it doesn't matter. You know, conversely, you could be eating all the crap foods and have an incredible attitude and it's going to take you really far through all that. It's just, it's, it's, uh, if it's not together up here, then 
it's not going to be together down here. We share the same neurotransmitters, you know, in our mind and our gut. So it's important to, um, to have them aligned. And so I don't like to get dogmatic about, you know, like uh, I just put out a food combining video that was right around the holidays. And I'm like, <laughs> look, you know, if you want to sit down and eat your mashed potatoes and your turkey, like by all means, go for it. The reason we do this kind of stuff is so we can, you know, know the rules and know how to properly break them. Like, uh, you know, the Dalai Lama said. Okay, this is hilarious and awesome. So have we finished your general daily protocol of what you eat? The last thing I remember is you might have the fish and the salad and you're giving us some examples. Well, look, I've got, I've got a 12-year-old daughter and I've got a wife who's a pitta body type. So vata, pitta, kapha. Kapha is the heavier set, you know, that has slower digestion and everyone's, everyone's different. So she, she'll eat those fish tacos and just burn through them like it's nobody's business, you know, whereas I usually separate out the starches and the proteins. I decide, am I going to have a starch protein, a starch meal, or am I going to have a protein meal? They each combine great with non-starchy vegetables, like a big salad and a bunch of rice, a big salad and some, you know, fish, um, a stir fry, you know, it's, it's just, they don't combine well together. The starches combine, the starches don't start digesting till the intestines and the protein starts digesting in the stomach. And when you combine them together, you're going to have indigestion at, at a certain level somewhere in your body. That's why chewing your starches are so important to start that digestive process. You know, um, drink your, chew your water and uh, drink your food. I believe Edgar Casey said that. Uh, so chew your water and drink your food. So your food, you want to have liquid before you swallow it. Uh, so I try to, I try to go by that. I try to say, okay, let's, let's have a starch meal and then let's have a protein meal later on. But again, you know, I mean, I've, I'm a family man. I've got, you know, dinners on the table at the end of the day, I'm going to eat some fish tacos if they're there. And, and, uh, you know, so that I, I just try to go by those, those guideposts, but, um, it also depends if I'm cleansing, if I'm doing a liver gallbladder flush, I'm just drinking um, my meals, you know, I'm just having smoothies. I'm having the living greens. I'm having cacao elixir. I'm having juices, you know, celery juice, celery, apple, kale, ginger, you know, and, um, it's, I like to cleanse once or twice a year. It's, it's really important. Um, and so it all depends, you know, and you have something sky that I saw online that's called the raw chocolate or raw cacao diet. So what is that? Is that really a diet? I mean, it's, it's what I had touched on before about um, drinking a chocolate superfood smoothie a day and uh, replacing a meal, getting lighter, getting, getting ready for deeper kind of cleansing. I mean, for most people, it's just totally out in left field to think about, you know, colon hydrotherapy. I mean, which is crazy, right? Because we'll, we're, we're trained to, we'll, we'll religiously like get those oil changes in some external vehicle. But when it comes to flushing our own kidneys, you know, how many people just know because they were trained in school that they've got to, you know, a couple times a year, uh, drink, uh, cucumber juice, or how about, um, drink watermelon juice in the morning and cucumber juice in the afternoon for a day and flush their kidneys so they don't get renal failure and have to walk around or have a go to a machine when they're older. How many of us are trained in, in high school that we've got to flush our gallbladder, drink a half a cup of lemon juice with a half a cup of olive oil after doing some of this preparation, like with the cacao, this, this is on the cacao cleanse. You actually, after preparing your body and then going into just liquids for a few days, then you can actually drink a half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of lemon juice together at the same time, lay on your side, and uh, have some kind of laxative tea or something like that in the morning, center leaf tea, and go to the bathroom and painlessly, effortlessly uh, let go of 
sometimes 50 to 100 gallstones that are a quarter up to a quarter size, dime to a quarter size, gallstones that your, your duct from your liver and gallbladder just releases effortlessly instead of having to get your gallbladder removed when you're older, which is like a common operation these days. I mean, it's, it's insanity that uh, is what's out there. We know that. But um, if I can help people make it more accessible for people to like, be like, oh, okay, I've been, I've been replacing a meal a day now. I'm going to actually go all liquid for a few days. I'm going to book an appointment with my colon hydrotherapist. And I'm going to do something for me that is going to allow me to live for many more years and to make the quality of life later on in life so much more enjoyable. Wow. That was awesome. Thank you for those details. I will go back and uh, make sure that they're written down because that's something <clears throat> that sounds amazing to do. And I like that it's a home protocol that anybody could do it. And these are really easy, accessible items that we can get. It's just about the commitment. Uh, we're going to take a very quick break. This is Debbie Dashinger, Dare to Dream. I'm speaking with Sky Cubby. And a couple of things. If you love this show, I would ask you to go to Patreon and you can find Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. Remember, it's D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R. And contribute. If you love the show, donate something. The price of a cup of coffee. It's su super easy, but allows me, us, to continue doing what we're doing, to have a team, to thrive, to offer you some of the greatest guests and experts from around the world. I've been doing this over 11 years, and your support is very meaningful, and I love that you are on this journey with us. Also, my gift to you, go to debbiedashinger.com, and if you would like to learn how to get free publicity for your book, your business, your being, you can receive a report that guides you how to use the free publicity that is already out there just waiting for you, but most people don't know about, debbiedashinger.com. And if you love this show, give us a five-star review because it allows people who are looking for this level and content of conversation to find the show and know they found something that they will jive with. We say that we are your number one transformation conversation. So we're gonna go back with Sky right now, and I just wanna remind you, if you're interested in what he's saying, you can also go to skycubby.com. So it's Sky, S-K-Y, and Cubby is K-U-B-B-Y.com. So I wanna shift a little, Sky, and I wanna talk about pineal gland. I went, so obviously I did research on you and I thought it was fascinating what you revealed that I never heard of about the pineal gland. And so first of all, let's just like put it out there. You talk about it's really important to use ancient foods to decalcify mm -hmm. one's pineal gland. Why does a pineal gland need or require decalcification well our our pineal gland is, rests at the center of our brain and it's this pine cone shaped uh gland that's highly vascularized so it, it needs more blood flow and oxygen than literally anywhere in our body it's one of the most vascularized or, or uh, organs or glands there is and um it it literally has gotten atrophied and one of the main reasons is the fluoride in our water and so what i ended up uh, just wanting to learn for my my own self is you know how to how to um uh get get that uh, uh gland uh get that uh pineal gland decalcified and more of like in a plump kind of pink nice uh, soft uh, the way it was it's actually shr it's been atrophied over time it's shrunk down uh, it used to be a lot bigger and it shrunk down to uh, even smaller than like a raisin it's kind of shriveled up and calcified um, w I think most people are pretty familiar with the the fact that um, the fluoride in our water is we got to get it out of there I mean it's it's like it's rat poison so there's certain foods that um, can help to 
refurbish the pineal gland. And I mean, you know, if you look in ancient texts, they, they revere the pineal gland. The, Descartes said, called it the seat of the soul. I mean, it's like some of, some of uh, you know, if you look in a lot of the churches and stuff like that, they have uh, these rods with the pine cone shape there. It was known that like, there's something going on here. There's actually, um, oh, my mic is falling down. Uh, it, there's actually uh, crystals, tiny crystals in the pineal gland that are piezoelectric. So they, they're light emitting. So when you close your eyes and you imagine something and you see lights and you have visions, um, this is because of our pineal gland. It is, it is the seat of the soul. It's what connects us uh, to the higher realms and higher dimensions. So we want, if we want to turn that on and reawaken to our inherent gifts and powers, I mean, we're such powerful beings and one of our greatest gifts is our ability to, um, to forward, to have the imagination and in that, in, a, in that our creativity. So some of the foods that are the best, turns out chocolate, cacao, is one of the highest antioxidant foods there is, if not the highest, right up there with chaga. Um, so those two foods are incredible for decalcifying the pineal gland. It's um, the, uh, with the, the cacao, the raw cacao is what you're after because the antioxidant levels are just off the charts. I mean, if you look at charts, there's like, you know, blueberries and um, high vitamin C fruits and like it goes up and cacao's like off the charts, you know. Um, the chaga mushroom is, has this special antioxidant called superoxide dismutase that is, uh, it, it's one of the most powerful antioxidants. There's um, uh, supplements you can take like uh, mega hydrate. Uh, do you know about Patrick Flanagan's mega hydrate? No, I know that name, but I've never heard of that product or chemical. Patrick Flanagan, he's like an Einstein level genius that designed patents for NASA when he was 12 years old. He, he wrote the first book on pyramid power and he created a dolphin human uh, communication translator. I mean, the guy's Einstein level genius. So he created this stuff called mega hydrate. He microclustered hydrogen. So he got like hydrogen's the fuel of life. It's the most powerful, um, uh, goes my mic again. It's the most powerful um, thing there is. Like if you go outside barefoot, hydrogen goes up into your feet. Um, so that's the whole thing with the whole concept of grounding. Uh, hydrogen is um, abundant in fresh fruits and vegetables until you pick them. And then they kind of like start dissipating. So what he did is like vitamin C, okay? Imagine vitamin C is the size of, uh, the molecules the size of a football stadium. Oops, there goes my mic for real. <laughs> so. Uh, you can always do a handheld and like pretend we're on a red carpet. I'm just going to hold it here. Right. So, um, okay. You're in the football stadium. You've got a microhydrant, a megahydrate molecule, a tiny dot in the palm of your hand. That's the size of the megahydrate molecule. The size of a vitamin C molecule is the size of the football stadium. They each give up a negatively charged hydrogen electron, which is the essence of free radical scavenging. Okay, so you can imagine the football stadium, once it gives up the, its electron, it, your body has to get rid of it. That's why if you take too much vitamin C, you have the runs right? So you can imagine this tiny dot in your hand in the football stadium can go to every nook and cranny of your body like the pineal gland. And it can, it alkalizes the bioterrain. It, it goes in and um, gets the, turns the blood. Like if you do dark field microscopy, which I did maybe 25 years ago now with Dr. Patrick Flanagan, we filmed this infomercial and we pricked our fingers and, and like uh, looked at the blood flowing very slow and thick. Take the mega hydrate and it's just flowing like, like wine instead of ketchup. Mm. 
So you can also do this by being barefoot in the earth. And the same thing happens to your blood. It starts flowing. Like, like, uh, so, so great things for the pineal gland is grounding, being barefoot in moist soil by the beach, um, sun gazing too, you know, looking at the sun at the sunrise and sunset. Eventually, like I look straight into the sun anytime and breathe. I breathe it like into the center of my brain and just kind of send that energy through my body. And um, I feel like it's it's working. I feel like it is healing for for my whole body, for my pineal gland. And so there's a whole pineal um, protocol that you can um, get um, at the, the medicinal-foods.com and um, you know check it out. I actually met Dr. Patrick Flanagan at the Los Angeles Conscious Life Expo. He was sitting in a booth with my dear friend who is now passed, the pyramid expert, Nick Edwards. Uh, Nick Edwards. Yeah, you know who that is? Yeah. Yeah. So, and you know. Patrick Flanagan came to, to my house, and I don't know if you can see here, but there's pyramid poles <gasps> yeah. that go up in the house. So I built I built the house. Um, it was a, I built the pyramid, and my daughter and I, my, my wife and I. My daughter wasn't alive. My wife and I uh, would just come up here and meditate, and then we had a daughter, and we're like, oh, we need to live somewhere. <laughs> so I built this octagon around the pyramids. So we have a pyramid that comes up through our floor, and Patrick Flanning came out here, and he. He told me how to balance the paramagnetic diamagnetic frequency of the pyramid with a titanium capstone. And I'm like, where am I going to get a titanium capstone? He just said, when you're ready, let me know. I mean, this guy. I know where he sent you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I, I haven't been ready yet, but I, maybe I'm ah. ready now. So. Cool. This is so interesting. And, and if it's fascinating to you, you can go back. Uh, probably easiest place is my website, debbiedashinger.com under interviews. And in the search, type in Nick Edwards. Nick was on my show, gosh, at least two, maybe three times. This man also, like Dr. Patrick Flanagan, like off the charts, genius. But he talks about where these pieces are sourced from. It's fascinating what he came up with, makes a lot of sense and also the power, the potency, the Fibonacci code, all sorts of stuff uh, and where pyramids actually are that we don't know about. I highly recommend you do that. And I have also a pyramid. It's not up in my, my location right now, but I do have it because it was pretty huge. And you know, one of the things that was fascinating when I was reading about this decalcifying our, our pineal gland is you also in the protocol recommend boron. So here's what's fascinating. I had been dealing with an autoimmune disease for eight, 10 years. And it was one of those situations where the doctor said, yeah, you're just gonna have to live with it. And maybe you could use some you know, steroids, which is like crazy. So I really did accept it for a long time. I felt totally impotent and powerless. And it had a great effect on my life and my psychological health, feeling like less than, not completely healthy and whole. Until I got pissed and I thought, I can't live like this. There's going to be a solution to everything. That's crazy. And the moment I did that and started doing mad research, the timing was perfect because while I was doing the mad research, the research that was out there had come up to meet me. So I could now find methodologies that people were using that holistic practitioners were suggesting that were creating enormous health in some people who had the same condition as I. And one of them was about borax or boron. So interestingly enough, in my place right now, I have two boxes of the right kind of really pure borax and I can ingest it, that one eighth, what is a teaspoon with some water. I've taken baths in it. And then I got to the point where I thought, I'd like to just keep it simple. So I got the tablets and the pills and I take one in the morning, one in the evening. And 
yeah, just ticking along. I've definitely come far. And I'm That's really great to hear. Um, yeah. I, I have a, a boron that is a, it's an ionic boron, I believe. It's liquid. So I just take a little dropper full of, I, I was taking it as like a regimen, but now I just take a dropper every once in a while. But, you know, it's crazy, these things that we think like, we would never think, oh, drink borax. Well, I'm doing this thing now where I'm drinking turpentine. Oh my God, that's, okay. Stop the, stop the phones. So that's amazing because I spoke on a panel at the Holistic Chamber. We've got the biggest chapter here in Santa Monica. So I spoke on a panel and afterwards uh, there were people from the Holistic Chamber and people from this green meetup group. And one of the guys, sure enough, I got into a conversation with and never met him before, but he started, I don't know why people share with me sometimes, but he started sharing all the stuff he was doing to experiment on himself. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's a woman, an African-American uh, doctor out there who is the one who talks about the turpentine and he had tried it and he was talking about what had happened and what he had released. So share a little bit about that. Uh, sure. I mean, you know, we're all wanting to regain sovereignty over our bodies. I mean, maybe not all of us. <laughs> a lot of people just don't care or they think parasites. I don't have parasites, but I mean, I've done my fair share of parasite cleanses and things like uh, wal black walnut and uh, those really... Oh, there goes the stand. <laughs> those really uh, harsh herbs. I mean, they, I just think they can be too harsh for people. So I've done um, the rife frequency machine where uh, after I, because my friend had um, limes, which uh, I, a lot of people are misdiagnosed with limes. They actually just have, you know, what a lot of people have, uh, you know, different uh, viruses and stuff. Um, but anyway, I did the rife machine and then I, I got rid of like a, a, a parasite this was maybe 10 years ago and i was like wow that's pretty amazing but then since then i've done after you do get into the whole colon hydrotherapy and it's it's just i mean it's a painless you know flushing of your so you don't have to it's not a colonoscopy i want people to know that that they're like oh that's crazy because it is kind of invasive and crazy but colon hydrotherapy is very gentle and it just helps pull out all those layers and the more you can schedule if you can schedule 10 sessions in a row towards the end is when you really start going deep into like the layers of stuff from when you were a kid that's built up um, but at that point you can do like a cold water flush some people's bodies respond differently to cold warm water and um, and at the end of all that cleansing you can flush out sometimes foot-long tapeworms Dear God. Oh my God. It's like, you know, um, but uh, I didn't see anything come out with this, this last um, experience with this. Um, it's, it's basically like, you know, terpenes. Okay. We actually are launching a, a new brand of um, CBD products. Oh, cool. Um, like this one's for immune. It's CBD Hawaii. Um and it's, uh, it's, it's just CBD. We're starting to like get some CBD from the islands here. And uh, CBD is really picking up. I was first to market with a CBD chocolate bar. Wow. And in the CBD, uh, some of the uh, products have terpenes, which are terpenoids that, I mean, in the cannabis plant, there's uh, eight, the extract of hemp that we use has eight cannabinoids and 18 terpenes in in the food products there's terpenes everywhere and they do different things to the body when i first started taking pure terpenes like uh, warts would fall off like my viral load went way down and uh, different terpenes do different things um, so the, the these turpentine is an extract from pine okay so that stuff is um you know you just take it with a little bit of um um, oil and you end up, um, you know, just flushing out, uh, any un unwanted guests and, um, it can, you know, it can be a safe, uh, a little spoonful of it. It can be a really safe, effective parasite cleanse. That's so cool. I think the upshot of this guy who shared with me at the holistic chamber is that he had something, you know, clearly some kind of wound on his arm 
And he was saying he takes things like way to the extreme. So he starts to do a protocol, but keeps, he gets results, but he keeps going. And then he gets to the other side, which is another kind of sickness because you need to stop, mm -hmm. right? And have some stasis and health. That's and he crazy. was, yeah, that's crazy. So with that, because he was way overboard, how long do you actually do the turpentine and oil? How many days? Um, the protocol I'm doing is like for five days on and then off for the weekend, you know. Um, and uh, the oil that you use is um, castor oil. So it's like uh, <laughs> a teaspoon of the, the turpentine terpenes, the turpentine, and then a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon of the castor oil. And you kind of burp up like this pine salt kind of flavor for a little while. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. And um, supposedly it can work really quickly to, you know, flush out. Uh, it works on candida as well. So that's cool. Awesome. I don't know why, but this is popping in my brain. So I'm going to ask you, what about cancer? Because you mentioned cancer earlier. Are there certain foods, superfoods protocols that you recommend for somebody to... In my mind, there are so many cures for cancer that we can't even talk about. Now, with our medicinal mushrooms, we can, um, we can have a website that can sell it to people's beloved pets for their dogs or cats because they respond really quickly to medicinal mushrooms and uh, for cancer. And it works really well, but we, you know, we can't say it cures cancer for humans. So until we get truth of labeling, you know, there's that. But um, any of this stuff that oxygenates, like the cordyceps that is anti-cancer, anti-tumor, like the reishi and chaga, I mean, that stuff is pretty awesome. I would definitely be on that if I, for a cancer protocol. That mega hydrate, alkalizing the bioterrain. I mean, cancer can't exist in an oxygen rich environment. Mm -hmm. so Dr. Helder Clark, Cure for All Diseases, said that. And uh, so that's really, uh, I would be on the mega hydrate. I would also um, use this stuff that is, is on uh, our site called the Vitae Elixir, which is, it's, you ever heard of the Black Salve? No, I have not. It's this what stuff that? that's um, created by like uh, Native Americans, it has a Navajo origin. This black salve, you put it on like a, a, a skin cancer or like a skin growth and it literally just falls off after, you know, continued application. The black salve can be a little intense for the body. It's got stuff like graviola and blood root. So this, this is um, a, a, a more gentler version that's ingestible. And this story behind it is unbelievable. I mean, this guy was um, a totally uh, wealthy, self-made guy who dedicated all of his finances to studying texts from all over the world, deciphering like uh, texts from, you know, up in the mount in the Himalayas to working with Navajo shamans to Ayurvedic Chinese stuff. I mean, he studied it all and did human trials and he found, he came up with this deep, dark purple stuff that's been underground since like the eighties called the Vitae Elixir. So you take, you start with one or two drops if you have, you know, cancer or like, um, really bad, say, uh, you know, limes or something where there can be a die off and it can be intense. And you build up to 10 drops. If you're somewhat healthy, you can start right there at 10 drops. And um, it goes deep in the body, it cleanses out, um, it works on different pathogens. It, for everyone that has used it to get rid of their cancer, I can say over the last 40 years, not a single person has gotten cancer again. Wow. That's um, huge. You don't no need relapse. to do chemotherapy with it. I mean, you don't need, uh, like people, if they want to do chemotherapy, you know, then, then go ahead, but, uh, you can do it with or without chemo with or without any other drugs and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. It's just, um, it just works. And for advanced stuff, there's this, uh, foot bath that's these yellow herbs that the, this guy has gotten thousands of people, you know, um, 
fixed with cancer. The FBI showed up at the guy I'm working with, uh, worked with um, the, the, the son of the, the dad who created it, had the FBI show up at his house and say, you can't be curing thousands of people of cancer. So if, you, if that happened, you, you know that it's, there's something there and it actually works. So, um, you know, I believe, I mean, the cancer, I can't believe people donate to the cancer society when obviously they're just trying to, uh, it's a sham and the, they're not trying to find a cure. And there's a million cures out there, but ultimately people have to want to heal. And if there's that will, then stuff like this, I know it can work. There's a will, there's a way. Well, just so you know, Sky Cubby offers you nine biohacks to feeling like a million bucks. These are freebies. You can go to medicinal-foods.com and get yours right now for free. Uh, Sky, this is Dare to Dream. So what are you next, Dare to Dream? What are your future dreams and goals? Well, you know, it keeps me really busy trying to... Um, uh, keep the, this, this business running. I mean, everyone loves the products. That's not a problem. It's, it's a positive problem having too much sales, but not enough inventory to, uh, you know, keep up with it. So, uh, I'm definitely looking for funding. Um, if, uh, you know, if we want to go into sprouts, I need a quarter of a million dollars just to like fund them for a couple months. So if anyone wants to get a great interest, uh, loan, you know, wants to lend us, uh, put some money towards a good cause. I'll give you, you know, every month a, a nice paycheck. And um, so, you know, once I can, uh, uh, if I could get a couple million dollars, man, I could really get medicinal foods into a lot of places all across the country, even international. I just need that inventory to build it. So I'd like to see that happen. I also am excited about our daughter is going to be, um, a teenager and uh, I'd love to have her go to school on the Kona side of the big island. And we're looking at some amazing, fabulous retreat centers out there that we could hold space for people come from all over the world to do their retreats on the big island because we got the whales, we got the dolphins, got sunshine and beautiful beaches on that side. So I'm dreaming up this, this retreat center uh, that people can come and I don't necessarily want to like, do the retreats. Uh, well, we can do our own retreats a couple times a year. My wife is a singer, songwriter, musician, and she helps empower people with their voice. We do cacao ceremonies where we help people uh, create a healing experience for them. And uh, that's, that's a lot of fun. So we'll do our own thing. But I wanna, we want to hold space for these retreats to come through. And uh, so that's, that's my next big dream to uh, lock down this uh, retreat center somewhere. Well, let me know because I'm going to be doing retreats myself and I know a lot of people. So if you create that, and I know you will, then let me know. I'd love to, I'd love to come see it, actually. It sounds beautiful. Sounds like we're, we're co-creating it now. So <laughs> This has happened before. So uh, great. What a great dream. All great dreams. And I, I really hope somebody resonates out there. I can hook you up with somebody if you need real estate and have trouble getting a loan. But um, yeah, but there's always people out there with money. So this, trust me, <laughs> just experiment a little with his products and you'll see how amazing they are. I, um, I know that you travel a lot. And so this is my final question because I do too. I speak everywhere and I'm traveling more and more these days. And I would love to know how do you travel, Sky, and stay mindfully healthy? What kind of choices do you make to stay on the path while you're traveling? Uh, that's, that's a great question. So I, you know, I like flying at night for one thing. Um, my wife doesn't because it throws her sleep cycle off. But um, if you can travel at night, you know how much radiation is coming through now more than ever, we've got like the sun is more powerful. If you've noticed, you go outside, the whole solar system is changing and uh, things are changing around. So there's more uh, UV, I feel like coming through more um, uh, radiation. And you're in this like, you know, tin can up there. Um, you know, the, the sun goes right through that aluminum and goes right into you. It's like laying out in the sun all day long and getting fried. So 
Uh, I mean, I believe in, in spending time in the sun, but if you can travel at night, you cut down on that radiation and you take the mega hydrate before and after. My friend David Wolf shared this one with me because uh, he's friends with Patrick Flanagan as well. And, and so he said, if you take, you know, some mega hydrate before and after, you have no jet lag. So, I mean, you get a lot of energy from that stuff anyway. So that's one thing that helps. Also going really light with your, you know, the hardest thing our body has to do is digest food. So if you can practice those food combining rules at least, which there's, um, you know, a food combining um, blog and video on my site, you can check out and get a little chart. But uh, go light, drink, you know, drink as much as you can uh, for, uh, smoothies and stuff. You can bring a little living greens with you. That's what I do. I mix it in with water, um, uh, you know, on, on uh, my flights and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, uh, it, if you can lighten the load, I notice traveling. Um, if I, if I eat too much then I could, you know, fall symptoms to some of those bugs going around and stuff like that. You can put essential oils on your vent. You can, mm, you know, that's so smart. You. you wash your hands a lot, obviously. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Clearly you could speak to so many subjects and there may need to be a part two because uh, there's so many things we touched upon and so many more questions I have. You're gonna be at the Conscious Life Expo for people who will be there in February in Los Angeles. Well worth it. You can look up Sky Cubby, you can go to his workshop and you'll have a booth there as well. Yeah, we'll have the medicinal foods booth. We can make you up a cacao elixir, coffee break, uh, living greens. But um, what I'm speaking on is invincible immunity and everlasting energy so if you want to come to that it's a free talk and uh you know we'll get more into like all the different things you know to super boost your immune system awesome yeah sky thank you so much for coming on the show today thanks for having me on it's been a lot of fun talking with you and i, I look forward to seeing you at conscious life expo 100 percent. i end today's show with this quote from andrew mick Mayhan. I think human beings make life beautiful. There's a lot of beauty in everything. I think what makes life beautiful is the ability to acknowledge that. Coming up in the next week's On Dare to Dream, you'll want to tune in for the number one transformation conversation, Brian Seth Hurst. My God, he hasn't been on the show for easily eight years. I am so excited to have him back on. He's spectacular. And also, finally, I've known this woman for years, Carrie Samuels, who does astrology, numerology. She's amazing. She's finally coming on the show. I've had her on my telesummits before, but this is the first time on radio and podcast. So keep tuning in. Also, Subscribe to my inspirational YouTube videos, and this is there too, youtube.com slash Deb on the radio. And if you would like to make passive income, sell your online programs, go to thnk.cc slash Deb. Remember, the secret to success is having the courage to begin in the first place. Thanks for joining us today.